Hi folks, Dan Dyker, KQEG TV, Seven Rivers Racing. We are back at the playground, my playground. I tell you what, I do a lot of stuff during the year besides radio and basketball. I always look forward to this time of the year when racing season kicks off. You hear the cars, you smell the fuel, triple cheeseburgers are flowing. This is a happy, this is like a holiday for me to be back out here at the Lacrosse Speedway. And uh, I'm really glad to get a couple of my new guests in uh, that did not give a chance to make it on the program last year. And uh, some interesting stories as we bring in uh, Rick Babcock and uh, Tim Murphy Sr. Glad to see you. Nice to meet you, Dan. Good seeing you again. Yep. Going to be kind of interesting because I'm used to you guys, uh, th as long as I've been here, uh, driving Hornet cars and, and knowing what your car schematics look like. Going to be kind of a different story for the both of you this year, uh, class-wise. Well, I've raced in a similar class before, but it's been years and years ago. Murphy here, he's going to have the, the hard learning curve. He's never run a rear-wheel drive car on a track, so I can't wait to spin him off. <laughs> We're talking about both of these guys running Thunderstocks this year. And, you know, when I talk to drivers that, uh, that go from different classes, um, primarily going from the quarter mile to, to the to the big track, as people call it. it. It's a big difference right there because you've got to learn almost an entirely new track. I would think that both of you would have an advantage jumping into the Thunderstock class because you run on this track in a Hornet anyways. Yeah, but for, for me it's going to be pretty easy because last year I ran a rear wheel drive Hornet car. Right. And like I said, you know, Tim's going to have a lot more of a learning curve because he's used to being pulled through the corners where with a a Thunderstock, you know, it's rear-wheel drive, and he's going to be getting pushed through the corners, not only by the car, but by me, too. <laughs> I kind of like that smack talking right off the bat. Tim, <coughs> excuse me, Tim, you're coming off a, a very successful Hornet year last year, running second in points. Yep. Uh, just missed the championship by, by, I think, just about the last two races. And uh, when you talk about having the car counts that we did in Hornets last year, we were averaging anywhere between 30 and 40. That's a major accomplishment to finish second in points. Yes, it is. What was the, uh, I don't know, how would you say having that many cars, that many different drivers, not knowing a lot of these drivers, how they drive, how do you finish second in points? I mean, man, I mean, that's, that's a lot of racing. Pedal to the floor. <laughs> so so why, why go from a Hornet to a Thunderstock? Try something different. Have you, have you had a chance to run the, the, the car out here yet? Nope. So this will be a first time? Yep. So it's going to be practice day out here. And now are you going to race, are you going to make sure that you're on the track the same time he is? To, to, to give them the welcome bumps every now and then? Oh yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can. I, I believe his car's a little bit better than mine, but like I said, I've got the experience and I'm, I'm used to being pushed around the track. He's used to just going to the outside and going back past everybody. So, he, you, so you know if you beat him in a race this year, you're really gonna have to talk to Smack. Yep. <laughs> I think he's already ready for that. <laughs> Again, we're here at the uh, Lacrosse Speedway. Rick Babcock and uh, Tim Murphy Sr., my guests on the program, jumping from the Hornet class to the uh, Thunderstock class here. Now, uh, how, if you include this year, how many years have you been racing? This year will be 27 years for me. Wow. And I'm only 40. So I started jumping in and out of race cars when I was 13 years old. Now, where did you get your, uh, your start at? Toma. Now, how long did you run out there? About 12 years. Now, do you, do you miss that track? Yeah, I, I really do miss that track. You know, it, it used to be a little quarter mile track like this, and then the previous or the this last owner, Dave Thompson, Rusty Soul, he uh, he made it into a three eighths mile track, right. and a lot of the drivers didn't like it because when you went down the back stretch into turn three, the track flattened right off. There was no banking, and myself, I loved it because it was just like uh, being Luke Skywalker. You had to use the force and just start praying. Now, did you ever, did you ever run Toma? Yep. How long did you run there? Five years. Yeah, I, I think it was five or six years. Right off the bat, he started winning in the uh, Hornet division there too. The bumblebees. Well, bumblebees. Which was for for our viewers, bumblebees and the Hornets were pretty much the same yeah. class. Yeah, four four cylinder cars, and he, right off the bat, you know, he went out there and started winning first night. Now, how many years have you been racing? Thirteen. Wow. What, what makes you keep coming back? Nothing better to do? Uh, he, likes to <laughs> he, likes, he likes to rush. He likes to rush, just like you know, all the rest of us drivers, when you get behind the wheel. It, it's a rush, you know. I come out here and do it for the fans. I don't even drive for myself anymore. You know, you're, you're, you're one of the Hornet drivers that when I make my journeys through the pits before race nights, that I go by, and, and you're, like, you're like the Wood family, Lonnie Wood Sr., Lonnie yep. Wood Jr. Yep. You're, you guys are giddy, the both of you, to be out here. It's not like... 
you know, I'm here on a Saturday night and yep. you know, my car's not running right. It doesn't matter because you guys both had times last year. I mean, you were running very, very strong. One of the fastest Hornets we had here at lacrosse last year. But you had several nights where things just didn't go right. But coming down to the pitch, you couldn't tell that because you were just glad to be here. Yep. 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 You know, it's like I said, you know, we, we don't basically race for ourselves. <laughs> we don't do it to get rich because you're not going to get rich. Right. Never you know, get rich. We, we come out here, the fans are paying that 10 or $11 a night to come out and watch us and have a good time. We're just giving them a big show. Yeah, we, we like you know, to give them a good show. And I was just going to say that, if you listen to Chuck Deary whenever he does an interview, he always puts in the word fun. And, and, and I always look at this as this is a huge circus. Uh, myself being the announcer, the ringmaster, you guys are the show. You guys are putting the performance on for the fans. You're not... You know, some drivers are here for themselves because they're hardcore racers and, and they want to win and, and they want to go on in their lives. Um, but then again, you guys are the ones that know you are the show. Yep, we, we try to be. My guests here at the Lacrosse Speedway today are uh, Rick Babcock and Tim Murphy Sr. jumping from the Hornet class to the Thunderstocks. And we're going to talk more about that and uh, find out who's uh, powering them out here at the Speedway this year as we return next on Civil Members Racing KQEG-TV.